first thing we need to do is we need to look at this right here. We need to see what the RF number, this one happens to be RF 136. If you go on the um, website for RaceFace, they have codes that correspond to how long the spindle is, and that'll let you know a lot of times how long, how many spacers you need to put in here. This one will take two 2.5 millimeter spacers, one on each side, and that's because this is an XC crank, but it has a little bit longer spindle than you would expect from a dub crank or something like that. So of course we're gonna do spacer and then dust shield because the uh, dust shield always needs to be up against the bearing. And then we're gonna go spacer, excuse me, dust shield, <laughs> and then spacer, just like that. And we wanna put a little bit of grease on the end of the spindle right there. And then a little bit where the bolt is gonna go. Now, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. You will notice there's no wave washer being used in the system. You do not use a wave washer in conjunction with anything that has one of these knobs on it that does the preloading. The wave washer is gonna be used in a system that doesn't have something that already can do preload. Seeing as how this does, you do not put a wave washer in any of these crank systems. After you've torqued the crank arm, you want to force the entire assembly over to the non-drive side where the uh, where the adjuster is. Now, a word about these adjusters: most of them are plastic, especially these race face cranks and Easton cranks. They're plastic, so they're not that strong. They're strong enough to get the job done, but if you're expecting to be able to really push on them hard and put a lot of pressure on them, you can't. Now, this is uh, really important here. This little gap right here. We want to go ahead and tighten this bolt. This little screw, actually until we can just move this ring because we want to use the screw to go ahead and hold this gap as tight as possible because if we leave the screw backed way out it'll it'll like it'll skip it'll it'll as you're tightening it it'll want to open and it's not going to give you an, an accurate feel and also with our bottom bracket we have the true drive sleeve between the bearings so you're going to want to tighten this as much as you possibly can and then lock it down and it'll be perfect you don't have to play that game of you know Enough preload, not enough preload, bearings are spinning good, not, it doesn't, that's not a problem for us. So I just tightened it down right there. You can see, looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lock that down right there so that the gap is gone. It's, they're touching on both sides and that's all you need to do. All right guys, visit bbinfinite.com to get your mad spin.